So we stopped at the creation of Israel, May 15, 1948. Can you, can you read Leviticus 25, 23? Leviticus 25, 23. It says, the land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine, for ye are strangers and sojourners with me. I'll read it once again. The land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine, for ye are strangers and sojourners with me. What does that mean? God is saying, he has made that covenant. You have to understand, there is a difference between promise and covenant. God made covenant with Abraham concerning the land. So since the Lord says, it is mine, no matter what the world does, God won't allow anyone to fool around with it. And you know, this nation, their forefather, was brought, you need to connect it. Abraham is brought to from Ur, he stayed in Haran, right? He stopped on the way. And it was there that God said, No, come here. And when he came to Canaan, that's when the Lord met him at Shechem says, This is the land that I'll give you. This is, this is concerning the land, that property, that real estate. And Abraham gave it to Lot. God said, get up, north, south, east, west. And look at Abraham, he got the land, but how is he living? In a tent. Why? He is not interested in the land. He is looking for a city whose foundation has been laid by. So, can you look at him? God brought him. And he says, and, and another strange thing, Loth and all are taken away. He brings them back. And then he buys that land to bury his dead. So now can you see this nation? How God is moving. And all the persecution they went through. But you need to understand a difference, marked difference here. The sufferings of children of Israel is different compared to the suffering of the child of God. Don't compare the two. There is a difference. What's the difference? Why they are undergoing persecution? Why? For punishment. They, yeah, why, they, why are the children of Israel going through all of this? Because they are not walking according to as well, no fruits. And this is a punishment. And God has been warning them. But as far as the persecution that the church is going through, it's not for something wrong. It's for something good. Can you see the difference? We are living in a time when the church is going through the most severe persecution the world has ever seen. In his whole church history. That's the time we are in. How many are being persecuted badly? And those who are persecuted, the world doesn't know. And they are paying a heavy price. Why? And are they crying for forgiveness when they are being persecuted? When the church is being persecuted or the saints are being persecuted, the last moments... Are they crying for forgiveness? They are shouting for joy. They are singing. But what are these people doing? They, they are asking for forgiveness. So that's the difference. So now this nation is born and the Lord has been faithful. Not because they are good. 
Why God is doing that? It's for us. The goal, God's purpose is not the cross. You have to understand clearly. Yesterday night we were sharing. God's goal is not to save mankind at any cost. No. You have to understand that clearly. God's purpose is that man be one with me. Salvation is on the way. The purpose of salvation is what? That man becomes like his creator. So cross is where he shows his love. But his purpose is not the cross. You understand? Cross is where he is showing the, his love. Now, a child of God, looking at the love of God, now he has to grow to maturity. So, for that cross, if he is doing everything, he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So, why are we looking about Israel? Look at how he is dealing with them and talking to us. So we are not supposed to look at Israel, but we are so looking at whom? Can you understand? We are looking at whom? God. So he is revealing his nature through these people. Today many people don't have that balanced view. They start focusing more on whom? Israel saying they are the chosen, they are the blessed. So if we pray for them, God will bless and we need to pray for them. That's, that's the latest craze. Let us pray for Israel, peace of Israel. And you think all your prayer is going to bring peace? Tell me. Is all our prayer going to bring peace in Israel? They are just going to get another hammering now. Who is the real peace? Till they accept Christ as their Messiah, they are never going to get peace, no matter the world prays. I don't know from where they got this crazy idea, let's pray for peace in Jerusalem. They are praying for peace in Jerusalem, yes, because they have not accepted the Messiah. So here, look at them, how the nation starts. War of Independence, yesterday we stopped here. And it's a miracle. And then people started coming back. And then we move on. Now look at the geography of this. This city, this nation. From top to bottom. 424 kilometers or 263 miles. Width is 114 kilometers or 71 miles and here it's just 15. Two third of this land is what? A desert. And the world is fighting over this piece of land. You understand? Two third is what? Desert. Desert. And this is a big what you call big problem before everyone. And then, now, how, but you have to understand, now how this nation, we read the scriptures yesterday, God said, I'll, I'll bring them back, right? And you read that again, those portions, yeah. Isaiah 35, 1. Yeah. Once again, we'll just refresh. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and blossom like the rose. So in 45 words, 45 words, 48 words happening? It's blossoming then. They, it's not blossoming. No. It's a desert. And we read in Deuteronomy, the land will be observing its Sabbath. Sabbath. So for all these around 2000 years, when the owners were not there, this land was observing its yeah. Sabbath. There are people staying there, but the land is not bearing its fruit. So now the 
These people have come back. And now, from where are they coming back? All over the world. All over the world. Right? And now this small piece of land, they all have come back. And now they have to build a nation. And from day one, what started? A struggle for survival has been there from day one. Nations have been attacking them. So how did this small nation today, this is, the, this is the developed nation in the middle of all those developing poor countries. Look at the Muslim Islamic world around it. They are poor. And this is the only nation that is called a developed nation. And the standard of living is far better than people in Sweden. And it's the only nuclear power in the Middle East. How did this, this nation that's full of immigrants coming back together and how did it come up? This is the, this is the secret. The kibbutz movement. What's this kibbutz movement? These people, they said, yeah, together we'll build. That's the uniqueness of the reason behind how Israel became a developed country. A collective communal society based on the guiding principles of socialism. That's why they are called the fathers of communism, Karl Marx. So what have they decided? We all together, together, will build. That's the uniqueness. Is it possible with us? Yeah. Is it possible? Brother Daniel, we all are believers, right? Yeah. We are believers. Forget about them. We all are whom? Children of the same father? <coughs> same spirit? Same Bible? Are we going to the same place? No? <laughs> Are we all going to the same place? Can we all stay together? And together can we, can we? We call this a church, right? We are part of one body, right? We are part of one body. Conrad, can we all stay together and build? <laughs> but we all are going to... So what will heaven be like? There also we'll have, have some fence builders, right? That's your property. This is <laughs> mine. They, if they can physically do it, that doesn't mean that we all are going to stay in this farm together and going to build. But I'm just telling, it's so hard for us to stay together. Right? And look at them. They started from men and women together. Started by digging up the stones. Because this land has been observing its yeah. Sabbath. Look at them, they are coming back to a desert. Will you buy a desert land and start cropping? Look at their determination. Men and women together. I said, we'll do it, do it. And then, and just, from where has he come? These all have come from different countries. Right? They came from different countries. But working together. I am from India, you are from Germany, I'm from Romania. Can we all together, let's start working in the farm. Uh -huh, my profit. Look at them. And what's that binds them? The land. They are, this is our land. That's how they look at it. How am I looking at this place? This is, this is Jonathan's place, not mine. So why should I care? Right? Can I look at this place as my own? <coughs> What's, what's maturity? What's maturity? Are we growing up? So here, 
they are living in the desert. This is kibbutz movement. It's desert. And now can you see Jezreel Valley and Mount Tabor seen from Megiddo, an ancient fortress. What did they do? I'm just... They, they are turning this desert into a garden. This is the geography. Barren land. In all these years the Arabs have been there and it didn't produce anything. But when the owners came, the scripture says, and the land and the wilderness and the solitary place shall be the land is happy. Can you see this? Now, this is present day Israel. This is kibbutz. They stay in the middle and they cultivate the whole land around. <coughs> Can you see that? Collective. Around, surrounded by the desert. These are present day pictures. Did they work hard? Did they have to do some adjustments? Can you see that? Turning the desert into a Can you see? Why I'm showing you these pictures? Can you see these people living in the middle together? It's green. And this, 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 you know, this one. The only body of water where you can lie down and read your paper without any boat. The Dead Sea, full of minerals. So now, now we are looking next at, we hate these guys. The world hates them. But you know, what would world be if these people were not there? Hitler came up with the final solution he wanted to clearly wipe them clean. Now look at them, what all they have done. I'm just showing you pictures. First, the Nobel, they are called the Nobel people. At least 178 Jews have been awarded the Nobel Prize, accounting for 23% of all individual recipients worldwide between 1901 and 2008 and constituting 37% of all U.S. recipients during the same period. In the scientific research fields of chemistry, economics, medicine and physics, the corresponding world and U.S. percentages are 27 and 40 respectively. Jews currently make up approximately 0.25% of the world's population and 2% of the U.S. population. But can you see? They went through all of this and now can you imagine? Now, look at what all they have done. Who made the lipstick? This guy. Levi Jeans, a Jew. Remote control, TV remote. Traffic signals, the ballpoint pen. Then instant coffee. And this thing. Squatch guard. Who makes practical things? Next, big inventions. The atom bomb is the brain behind it. Then the thermonuclear bomb he makes. He fiddles with the DNA. That's called genetic engineering. Then, th this you know, small fruits, they do something with it, inject it with something and it becomes... And then, virtual reality. 
and and then you need to understand it's through these people it's through these people that god revealed himself to us right we know who god is through whom these all the pain they go through they are showing us so that we don't go through that like hollywood next you know the video cassette the motion picture sitcom the tv polaroid and this is the wood stock and all of this this one also who did it inventions beginning with the letter c what all capitalism communism number 3 circumcision four cheesecake what did they have in common five cafeteria <laughs> can you see that they are the ones they lead and we just Never buy retail, discount stores, pawn shops, then the shopping cart, the ready-to-wear clothing industry. Who? These Jews. Next, Starbucks, Soda Stream, Goldman Sachs, National Amusement, Simon and Schuster, Dell, Microsoft, Progressive Insurance. Yeah, Oracle. These are all Jewish media. Bloomberg, Bloomberg and Business Week, The Economist, AARP, New York Times, New York Daily News, Washington Post, U.S. News and World Report, CNN, MTV, Huffington Post, The Daily Show, BuzzFeed. We are all are. Can you imagine? Consumer goods, media. They are everywhere. That's not all. CBS, Showtime, Comcast, NBC, Time and Warner Cable, ABC, Disney also. Carnival Cruises, Facebook. Facebook is also who? Google. A mainstream company, Miramax. So yesterday they were searching when does a woman become a woman? So you have to help take the help from whom? <laughs> When you are googling, it's the Jew who tells you what it means. <laughs> <coughs> clothing brands. Now look at the clothing brands: The Gap, Old Navy, Banana Republic, American Eagle, Timberland, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, Estee Lauder. All of this is. I just gave you. I, I, can you see the list? Maybe the dress you are wearing. Made by who? <laughs> Suppose Hitler was successful in wiping out the whole Jewish world. What would we do? <laughs> What would we do? Why would we be? Now look at the sports teams. Not only this; these are the sports team they own. Are they blessed? No. They go through this. These are the list of the teams they own. How did we live without these drip irrigation? It's the Jews. Scale model electric trains, the pager, the walkie-talkie, refrigerated railroad car. high vacuum electron tubes the incandescent lamp kodachrome film the blimp the adding machine stainless steel tapered roller bearings can you say the greenhouse aluminium drip irrigation now google wire transmission fax the microphone the gramophone the microprocessing chip optical fiber cable laser cellular technology the video tape recorder 
everything. Next, we collect the milk. <laughs> then you you know this. The world cannot live without this page. There are two Jews who did it. Then laser. The laser a device name for the acronym life amplification and all. They came up with this. The first mobile phone, the Motorola. You walk around with Apple, they just copied it from whom? The Jews. Motorola and Kindle. And then this chip. And you have your pen drive. And now you have, this is how their dome, iron dome. They are being attacked by the Hezbollah and all. They fire one rocket. These guy, this guy already sends two. Three are there. That's how they are, the iron dome. Can you see how it works? I'm just saying, why I'm showing you this? These people, these people who have gone through this, if they can do this much, you and I, who are we? Who are we, Conrad? Who are we? Those who stand outside the wall and cry, if they can do this much, you and I, the temple of the living God. What am I doing? sitting and praising God. Is it not a shame? God doesn't want us to do all these things. God doesn't want? Then God wants... Now how, how am I going to reign? What does it mean? Can I be a blessing for this world? That's what I mean. Before I leave... Am I not the salt? Am I not the light? Yes, I am a pilgrim for a few days. But can this pilgrim bless this world before he leaves? You understand what I am saying? The potential we have, because who is there inside me? He is inside. They go through all of this and this is what they come up with. And how blessed I am, but I choose to just look at myself. And they are going through hell, but are they not a blessing for everyone? It's because of them you have this, what you call the ball pen. He made it for us. And this is how they this is how they live. Why they made this iron dome? Because they are always being bombarded by these missiles, rockets. They have to defend. That's how they live. We don't have to do any of this because no one is going to send any rockets up here, Fort St. John. You don't have to run into any bomb shelters. They have come to their promised land and this is how they live. They live in fear. A sign goes off. You stop the class and you run. That's why they are saying Shalom, Shalom. I feel better already. Prozac, alien, the polio vaccine, radiation, chemotherapy, the artificial kidney dialysis machine, the defibrillator, the cardiac pacemaker, vaccination against the deadly hepatitis B virus, the vaccinating needle, Laser technology. And have you heard of this thing? Yeah. The pill cam. They make you swallow it and they know what's all there inside your intestines. Polio vaccine. They were the ones who were blamed for cholera and they are the ones who found a solution for it. MRI scanner. Pa 
pacemakers. They came up, they said, but his heart is not beating, give him some electric shocks. Genetic engineering. And you know this ex equation. Who came up with this? Einstein. Can you imagine? E is equal to mc square. For us it is alphabets. But for him it is something else. <laughs> because of that you have this. Now you know what they are coming up with? This is the latest. The camera will look at your face and will recognize, Hey Jonathan! How did you know I am Jonathan? Yeah, I know. Is it not fearful? There is no one around. This is the facial recognition. This may be the first line of defense. They recogni recognize you by your face. Monotheism, <coughs> psychoanalysis, the theory of relativity, and it's through them we learned about the weekend. <laughs> Is it not strange? They call it Sabbath. Yeah, it's time for us to rest. Because he is resting. The world is also... <laughs> is it true? Sure. <laughs> Why are you resting? Because the Jew is resting. He doesn't work. No. Can you see them? Turning the desert. But they are always on war. Always. And can you see their men? While we are playing with Facebook and all of these things, you know they are men and women. They are walking around with what? Because they have to defend their own country. That's how life is. It's not because they want to, but this is the way they have to. Hard working and, but we love to hate them. And it's through them we got this book, right? Is it true? Can you see how they do it? And now, aiding the Syrian war victims. And you know what they are coming up with? Chicken meat made by... So they don't need your chickens anymore. <laughs> you already know McDonald's egg is not egg. It's something else. And now they are coming up with, God stops bleeding in seconds. Can you see them, how they are? And next, God said, this, this is what they did. You understand? I'll give you a break now. Ten minutes coffee break, and then we'll continue.